back and I'm on a roll. I've been talking to you today about the decision, this trend, these gospel singers singing with devils, singing with people who have not yet given their hearts to Jesus Christ like the Bible said. Well, you don't know. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. When Snoop Dogg, when Calvin gets saved, when he gets saved like the Bible said, he's going to denounce that hip hop world. He won't try to do both when he gets it like the Bible said. And, and you know what? Let me, let, me, let me back up a little bit. Let me make a correction. I've been messing up, uh, butchering a young lady's name. And you know, people butcher mine all the time. They call me Wooten. I think some people say don't do it on purpose. Wooten, Wooten. You heard that old Wooten. My name is Patrick Wooden, W-O-O-D-E-N, with a D, wooden, wooden table, wooden chair, that wooden floor you're standing on. But listen, I've been saying Mickey Minaj. Her name, I apologize, her name is Nikki Minaj. A beautiful girl, you've seen her. Uh, just a lovely lady, uh, a talent. Uh, uh, don't look at me funny for calling her beautiful. You guys out there, any guy who look at Nicki Minaj and, and don't think she's beautiful, you must be a homosexual. Something's wrong with you. Beautiful girl, uh, talented young lady, needs to be saved. However, like the Bible said, she don't get to make up her own version of Christianity. She doesn't get to have a relationship with the God of the Bible where she dictates the terms and she does it her way. Um, no, it doesn't happen like that. When it, Listen, when you come to Jesus, everyone is equal at the foot of the cross. In Christ, there are no blue bloods. There are no royals. I don't care who you are. When you get saved, you got to come in just like everyone else. You got to come in, you got to come, uh, come out, and you got to give up just like everyone else. You don't get to be saved and still do all of those wicked things that you were doing. You don't get to be saved and show your rump in public, uh, whether it's real or padded or whatever. You can't do that. You can't do that. When you get saved, you got to, you know, you got to look presentable. You got to, you know, you got to, hey, and, you know, I feel bad that I'm trying to explain this because you know I'm telling the truth. This is Biblical Christianity 101. It's like, it's like, it's, 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 it's 101. So now, <sighs> Tasha Cobb, Tasha Cobb Leonard, uh, this is according to Essence. She speaks out on the backlash from Song with Mickey. Now, I think that, the, I think that the, the, the song is, uh, and she says this about uh, singing with, uh, Nikki, did I say Mickey? Nikki, Nikki. It's not an assignment that man gave me. It's an assignment that God gave me. All right, well, we're going to see. Now, from uh, Tasha Cobb Leonard is re getting ready for the overflow. Before I speak on her decision to sing with this young lady, and it's her choice. I mean, she can do what she want. Uh, I, I, I won't buy it, you know, you know that. Uh, that goes out being said, but it's her choice. Uh, I'm not judging her heart or the heart of any of the others. If you notice, I have not said anything negative about anyone personally. As a matter of fact, I've tried to be as, 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 as fair and as, uh, and, and heap praise and, and, and give honor to whom honor is due as possible. This is not a gotcha uh, or a hit piece. But I am talking about decisions. These decisions that the gospel artists are making and, and that they are so enamored, just so moved that someone who sings for the devil would want to sing for them. I, I was listening one day at a, at a radio station. Uh, I don't know where I was, but the, the station was on and it was Rod Stewart and Rod Stewart was doing Curtis Mayfield's People Get Ready. And at the end of the song, after Rod Stewart finished singing, the DJ came on, a white guy, I don't know who it was, and he said that Curtis Mayfield should be proud. Oh, really? Proud of what? Because Rod Stewart did his song? Well, Rod Stewart apparently was proud to, 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 do, to do a remake of Curtis Mayfield's People Get Ready. So let's get this stuff right now. I want to know, gospel artists, why are you so proud? Why are you so st uh, starstruck? Because someone who 
sings for the devil, who sings before a crowd of people who are on whatever um, uh, at, at their concerts, who go backstage and do whatever with whomever, however they want. Why are you so moved that they would want to sing with you when you say that you sing for the King of Kings and for the Lord of Lords? I don't get it. I don't get it. If, you, if you're so moved with the bigness and the greatness of the king, why are you so touched that folk who do not sing for the king want to sing with you? And why would you do it? I hear the OJs. I hear the OJs. I hear the OJs from the day, from back in the day. For the love of God. <laughs> Come on, Patrick, get yourself together. But she says in this song, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, she's getting ready for an overflow. And I think that this, month, this, this is probably the song where in the song she says to the Lord, God, it's all right if you blow my mind. Now, do you think that that is a task, Tasha, for the God who made everything to blow your mind? Like he's got to really do something to blow your mind. I'll tell you when he blew mine, but I'm just a cornfield preacher. What do I know? But I'll tell you when he blew my mind. When I learned and understood Calvary. When I understood Paul, when he said in Philippians to Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and taking on the form of a servant. He came in the fashion of a man. He wrapped himself up uh, in sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. He died for me. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, Gary, I'm getting happy. Every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. When I, read, when I read in the Gospels how he carried the cross, how they drove the nails in his hands, how they put the crown of thorns on his head, how they drove the nails in his feet, how he hung up there, how the sun refused to shine, how he took out time on the cross and said to the thief who recognized him, this day you'll be with me in paradise. How he put death off and told John, hey, John, take care of my mother. By the way, Mother's Day is coming up. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. John, take care of my mom. I'll be back in three days, but take care of my mom. Yeah, and then when he finally cried out with a loud voice, to tell us I, that is, it is finished. It is finished. That blew my mind. What does it take, Tasha, for him to blow your mind? More record sales? A bigger house? I don't know. Um, a chance to sing with, maybe, to add to Nicki Minaj, you know, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, to be featured on the television with, I don't know, maybe to get a Grammy, uh, millions of dollars. What does it take? I would think that you would at least said, blow my mind again. You see, people, some of us think about this thing through the lenses of the doctrine. God, it's all right for you to blow my mind. The arrogance of that statement. Why not, uh, Tasha, try to blow his? Jesus' mind was blown when the Seraphonician woman said to him when she wanted her child heal, Lord, heal, I think it was my daughter, heal. And Jesus says, I'm, 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 I'm only sent, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel right now. And she said to Jesus, to my Lord and your Lord, yeah, uh, but the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. What he said was, I can't, I'm not sent to the dogs. I, I'm sent to the lost sheep of Israel. She said, yeah, but the dogs. 
eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Jesus said, I haven't seen this kind of faith. No, not even in Israel. She blew his mind. Wouldn't it be something, Tasha, if we were trying to blow the Lord's mind? I think that if you were trying to blow the Lord's mind, um, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't perform with Nikki. I'm quoting you. You said, I've seen the Nikki that is off the stage and the Nikki and that Nikki has a great relationship with God. Who's God? What God? Because the God of the Bible calls for consistency. The God of the Bible demands that we be the same person on the stage as we are off the stage. So I'm not saying that she don't have a relationship with God, but I know this, it's not whatever that relationship is, it's not biblical Christianity. Because when it's biblical Christianity, you're the same person. In the light as you are in the dark. Come on, come on, come on. You know I'm telling the truth. Stop that, stop that. Oh, he's being judgmental. No, I'm being factual. I'm being scriptural. I'm being truthful. I can't help it because some of you don't read the Bible. My assignment with this song was for a particular audience. Some of the listeners have never experienced God ever, and she exposed the audience in her way to the God she loved. I think sometimes the singers take themselves far too seriously. Hey, F2, uh, Tasha, and all the singers out there, and I love you, I enjoy your music. But God chose, Paul says in 1 Corinthians, the foolishness, chapter 1, of preaching to save them that believe. Not singing, preaching. True exposure to, to the Lord is the preaching of the gospel, the conviction of the gospel. Your song may make, the, may make the sinner feel better. But I tell you, people who stay saved and people who get it like the Bible says, they get saved on the word of God, not merely on a song. The testimonies that have come because of this, I would absolutely do it again. I'm sure you would. The testimonies and the check, I'm sure you would. I've had thousands of people say to me, this is the first time I ever bought a gospel album. Oh, really? Why? Because Nikki was on it? That's not a compliment to you, Tasha. This is, uh, this is first time, he says, I'm reading it. This is first time I've ever felt God. Did they get saved? I didn't believe in God until I heard this song. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So how do they believe now? Have they become Christians? Have they accepted Jesus? Come on. Now listen. So you're saying to me that what's, what's necessary to reach a certain audience is that you got to team up with a scantily clad uh, dress, uh, a performer who sings. I don't listen to her music, but uh, from what I understand, she sings love songs, sings for the world, you know, I, uh, beautiful lady, but she's no Christian. So you got to team up with them to win people. Read the Acts of the Apostles. See how many times Paul and them teamed up. Notice what they said to Simon the sorcerer when he wanted to buy their power. They let him know right quick, it's not for sale. And they rebuked him. They didn't team up with Simon the sorcerer. Now, I've talked about this and I've weighed in. I've talked enough. I, 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 I pray that God would touch uh, our gospel singers and that they would go back to respecting themselves and realize that they're complete as they are, that they don't need Nikki, they don't need Snoop, they don't need Jay-Z, they don't need any of them to give them credibility to add to their stature and certainly uh, to promote the message of Jesus Christ. If you're going to sing for the Lord, sing for the Lord. If you're not, give it up. Go ahead and do that. But you're not going to be able to have it both ways. You're just not going to be able to do it because there are too many people in the body of Christ who read the Bible, who understand the doctrine for that. So join me next time for another episode of The Bible Says This. What say you, brother, wouldn't love you? And I hope you still love me. God bless you. Thanks for listening.